The next factor we have is uh, iron losses. And, and in those iron losses, again, we have eddy currents. Eddy currents are, are kind of fun. Um, so Faraday's law states that any change in the environment of a coil of wire will cause a voltage to be induced in the coil, regardless of how the magnetic change is produced. So what that tells us is if we turn a chunk of iron into a magnet, we're passing um, flux through it. Since the iron is a conductor, it's going to have a self-induced voltage. Uh, so there's gonna be a voltage sitting in that conductor. And if we remember um, iron has a resistance, V equals IR, we're gonna create a current. So current will flow in the core because we have that induced EMF and we're gonna create losses. So if we have a really thick lamination, like the one here, this is gonna have a low resistance. You know, this is kind of a very wide conductor. This has low resistance. It's gonna have a really high eddy current loss. But if we start to take thinner laminations, those are gonna have a larger resistance. We're gonna have less iron losses. The downside is we're going to have less active material. So we're not gonna be able to push as much flux through the iron. So we end up with this kind of interesting engineering challenge where, where we have to make decisions about what to implement and what's not. But, but the general rule of thumb is thinner laminations are gonna lower our eddy current losses. But again, we, we have equation for modeling this and not everybody goes to this level of detail, but you absolutely could. Um, and that eddy current equals the eddy current constant, which would be a material property, um, times the flux density, could be calculated from voltages and currents, um, times the frequency, obviously calculate that, and then times the thickness and, and volume of the conductor. So again, this is something that we can calculate as long as we have the right parameters to put into the measurement. So this is pretty cool. Um, I, I, I think that not everybody's gonna implement this, not everybody's gonna go to this granular level of detail, but if you want to, you can. And this again can all be implemented into the, the real-time stuff we're, we're doing in the e-drive.